Hi everyone, my name is Athena and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be working uh, with the roller. Um, this is a really good piece of equipment to really stretch out the upper back, particularly if you have round shoulders. And it's a nice little piece of equipment to also walk through the spine, really stretching out the whole body. So we're going to make it a nice short workout. So come down into the floor. Now you will need a piece, you will need a roller to do this workout because it's going to be all on the roller today. Um, so if you have one and a mat, come down onto the mat, onto the floor and let's get started. So let's place the roller lengthways, long ways over the mat and then I want you to come down and sit at the end of, the, of your roller with your feet flat down onto the floor and then slowly bring the spine down onto your lengthening out through the roller this way. Find your length and stretch and balance on the roller. Make sure your tailbone, from your tailbone to the top of your head and neck, you are, um, you're staying lying on the roller. And we're gonna take the arms across the sides to find a little balance. So looking straight up towards the ceiling, I want you to start by really lengthening out that spine and imprinting the lower back onto that roller as you find your arms side by side to get a little balance. Now make sure you have a little check with your feet, make sure the knees have a little bit of space and that knees are in line with hips. We're going to start with some leg lifts. So again, focusing on the breathing as well, we're going to lift right leg up to tabletop and then we're going to place it back down. And we're going to switch legs, inhaling, exhaling. So keep working at your own pace with your own breath, remembering to imprint that lower back onto the roller so you're supporting that low back and really engaging the abdominals lifting up and then we're going to go a couple more inhale exhale one more on each leg and now we're going to lift one leg at a time up to the tabletop position and then drop it down again one at a time Let's do that again. We go right leg up and then the left leg and then we lower and lower. Keep working this way. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. And now we go a couple more on each side. Inhale, exhale, stay strong through the core. One more. It's challenging, but it feels really good for my whole upper back and spine. Now we're gonna to go to tabletop. I'm gonna keep my legs to tabletop, stay here, and now I'm gonna continue with some toe taps, yeah? So we'll start with the right leg down, and then you float it back up. And then alternating, exhaling. So again, make sure you imprint that low back to support it as you drop and lower the legs. We'll go a couple more. Inhale, exhale. Give me one more on each leg, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Now we stay here at tabletop and now I'm gonna challenge this one with a bit of a single leg stretch. We stretch one leg out and away and then bring it back in. And switch, inhale, exhale, again. Right leg stretches out, then we're gonna bring it back up. Left leg lengthens and stretches, come back in. Let's do two more. One more on each leg. The last one. And bring it in and slowly drop your feet down to the floor one by one and have a little release across the low back a little bit. So it is challenging, but it really is fantastic for your balance and for lengthening out the whole posterior chain of our body. Let's go back again. I'm gonna challenge this one a little bit more. We're gonna do two more exercises with straight leg variations. So let's take the right leg up to the ceiling and lengthen it all the way up, find your balance, and then float the second leg up. So you may feel a little bit wobbly here, so just readjust, realign if you need to. Let's lengthen through the toes to stretch the front of the legs, pointing the toes and then flexing your feet. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale. Good, give me one more. Breathing in, I'm stretching through the front of those thighs. Exhaling, stretching through the back. Stay with your feet together and flex. We're gonna open to the side as far as you can. Find the balance. Exhale, close. Again, breathing in, breathing out. 
Couple more times. Inhale, exhale. One more. Now hold it here and now we're going to go with our double leg lower and lift. So again, we're taking those legs away, away as far as it feels okay. <clears throat> exhale, bring it up. Again, breathing in and out. Gonna go a couple more times, away as far as you can. Exhale, float them up. Last one. And out. And then bend those knees in and then nice and slowly drop your feet down again, one at a time. Now stay here, have a little bit of side to side release through the low back, arms by your side. Now we're gonna stay here and come up into a little, oh, not to a little bit, we're gonna come up into a, a bit of a shoulder bridge or hip lift off the roller, yeah? The upper back will stay onto the roller. As we press and lift the hips off the roller, you wanna feel the work in the glutes and the front of your thighs slightly do with this one. And then drop that low back down again. Exhale, hips up. Inhale, low and release. Let's go three more. Exhale, hip lift. Inhale, down. Two more like that. Lift and replace. One more. Exhale, lift. Now stay here, little pulses. We're going to squeeze the glutes pulse out. We go 10, 9, 8. Keep breathing out, squeezing the glutes. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we're going to roll it down and take a little break there. Well done, everybody. Now stay here, and I'm going to work through the upper body now for stretching those arms and the upper shoulders. So let's float the arms up to the ceiling. Again, I'm lengthening up through my spine, and I'm going to go with opening across the chest a little bit, single arm sort of opening across the body. Let's take the right arm across, and I'm really feeling it heavy down towards the floor, and then bring it back up. Switch arms. Other side goes down. Inhale, tap to the floor. Exhale, come back up. Again, don't forget about the body posture and the spine and the low back onto the mat. Imprinting that low back, staying strong with your core. Try and relax the upper body. Chin is tucked in. We go one more. It's single arm lower and lift. Other side. Good. Now we're going to go double arms. So both arms heavy and across as far as you can go. You can feel that back stretching. Exhale, come back up. Give me a couple more with double arms. Inhaling all the way, opening across the chest. Exhale. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Beautiful. Stay here. Now we're going to go with the arms, single arm across the upper body. So right arm lengthens away from me and then I'm bringing it back up. Alternate, left arm away and bring it back up. And I'm trying to stay with my low back imprinted onto the roller so that I'm feeling a nice balance. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna go one more on each side. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one. Now I'm gonna go both arms, but one going one direction and the other one going down and reversing. A bit like a scissor with the legs, what we're doing with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing in and breathing out, lengthening through the spine. Let's go two more. Up and around and reverse. Last one. And arms back up. Beautiful. Stay here. We're going to make some arm circles to finish off with the upper body here. Take the arms up and behind you. Circle the arms around as far as you can and then float them up and forward. Let's go again. Arms go back. I'm imprinting that low back to stay strong in my spine and my core. Float the arms up. We go one more around, circling those arms. And I'm going to reverse the circles as well the other way. We go down by our side, open up, circle behind you, float the arms up. Let's do two more. Really good for opening up the shoulders and the back. If you're really desk bound, as most of us are at the moment, bring the arms back up and by your side. Well done, everybody. Now we're going to come off the roller. So slowly coming off the roller. Just turn to one side. And now this next few exercises that we're going to do again is for the upper body stretches. Take the roller and place it across your mat. Bend your knees. 
Sit up nice and comfortable and bring your upper back onto the roller. Yeah, so find a nice comfortable position for you where it feels okay. Because now we're going to stretch the upper back, rolling over the, over the roller, looking towards the back of the body. So take your hands and place them. Just tuck one hand behind each ear and lengthen out through the spine first of all. Stay strong in your core. Take a breath in and then we're rolling that back and stretching it over the roller. You're slowly looking your gaze towards the back. Come back in, breathing in, and let's do that again. Rolling over, you're really getting a nice stretch to the back. Take your time, coming back up. We'll go a couple more. Exhaling. Inhaling. And let's go one more. Exhale. And inhale. Now if you want to go a little bit further with the arms, lengthening forward, and then as we come up, you want to really stretch over the roller, bring your arms behind you, lengthen, reach, and slowly coming back up and realigning the posture. Let's do that again. Arching and rolling over, arms behind you, breathing in, and out. Let's do one more. It feels good, it is challenging, so just go at your own pace. Exhale. And then slowly sit back up. Let's take the roller and place it, um, actually stay with the roller where it is. We just now want to stretch the front of the thighs. Yeah, a couple of stretches towards the front of your thighs and to the sides of those legs. So you're going to keep it here and roll or come over over the, of the roller this way, come into a bit of a plank position with your arms, stabilize, stay strong in the abdominals, take your feet off the floor, and let's roll forward and back. Oh, I'm really feeling that stretch to the front of my quad muscles here. If you have really tight quads, this is an excellent stretch to do with the roller. Inhale, rolling back slowly, exhaling, rolling over. Let's do a couple more. One more time, my right thigh seems to be tighter than the left one. And then slowly roll back down. Now stay on the same side here. Now we're going to stretch the side of that leg. So I'm staying here on my elbow. This leg can come forward and find a little balance with that one. Take that one off and then readjust and then roll over the ball ever so slightly on that side of that hip and that leg. Inhale, exhale to feel that nice long stretch to the side of those leg muscles couple more yeah one more time really feel the stretch and work through it breathe through it and then slowly we're going to shift the body over to the other side and do the other leg as well just so side line leg so again stay here front leg here the bottom leg lengthens out so you really want to make sure you're staying on that side line and stretch forward and back Whew, i'm feeling it breathing in breathing out couple more times last one inhale exhale Whew. and then slowly come off that one just to finish off we're going to come down here and do and do a um, a child's pose stretch so i'm holding on to my roller and i'm going to sit back and stretch that low back, upper back, sinking down, kind of lengthening through my arms a little bit here. And now I'm gonna take my hands across that side and stretch out, make a little dip in the low back, a little bit like a cat and cow stretch. And as I exhale, I'm gonna roll my hands towards, roll the roller towards me and round up my spine. Yep, again. Inhaling your release. In the exhale, engage the abdominals, round up your spine and roll up. We go one more. Relax and release in the inhale. Exhale. And then roll your body back up. And release. Have a little bit of a roll through the shoulders a couple of times, yeah? So forward, up, and down the back. Again, inhale, exhale. And relax. 
Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that short workout that we did today with our roller, which is really, really good for the posterior chain of our muscles to stretch out the spine, to stretch out the back, to even challenge the abdominals a little bit, but it's super effective for those who are rounded back that need to open up that, the chest and the shoulders. And particularly if you're working at your desk all day long, this is a really, really good um, piece of equipment to have nearby and do the stretches whenever you can. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope to see you soon. Have a nice day, stay safe and stay active.